forget his opponent, of course, from Sheffield in England. That's Nick Matthew, and he had a, a fabulous win yesterday against the young prince, Rami Ashur. So both guys obviously in massive form. And uh, I think, Alex, this confirms that Karim in the next ranking list from PSA will be the world's number one, taking over from Amish Shabana. That's right, looking at the calculations, Amish Shabana had a lot to defend from winning the World Championships last year, World Open in um, December in Bermuda. And losing quarterfinals here is effectively trying to replace that, and it's a big loss for him points-wise. And Kareem's done enough over the 12 months to look like he's going to yes, be the new, num new number one. one wow. Fantastic news for him. He's had a great year. I mean, he's just sat just off the pace, and suddenly a couple of wins. And, and I, I, you tell me, I think he's starting to look like... Um, uh, the complete player now. He's really come up to the uh, T. He's started to um, perform at a much higher level again. He's always had all the talent, but he's put it all together now. No, he certainly has. And there's, I don't think there were many people predicting that, you know, we'd start 2009 with a new world number one in Kareem Darwish, but fair play to him. Oh, right. a good shot from Nick. Uh, and now it's you know, he's produced the goods one over a long period of time this, this year and got his reward. Let's say, having watched Nick since he came back on the tour this year after his injury, and he really is such a professional guy. I, I used to compare him last year. I used to call him the English Marine, like another David Palmer, big guy, put in a great effort, well prepared. And he's shown it this year. I think his preparation is superb. You're a great mate of his, Alex. I mean, uh, have I got it right? No, that's completely right. Yeah, he's a great kid. He, uh, he does everything to the utmost of his ability. Never leaves anything to chance. Um, Put him on the there. Um, that's, he, and out. He was injured for nine months, and two one. Every minute of every day, all he was thinking about doing was coming back into the game. From Nick on that one. Enough. I just saw today that Karim's wife, Angie, who's a professional player on the tour, lost. So she needn't worry about the housekeeping. I think he'll be bringing her home enough for the both of them. Yeah, I'm wondering how the news that he's kind of, a lot of people have obviously been telling Kareem today that he, you know, he's done enough to get there for January the 1st. I wonder how much that'll affect him today. That's an interesting point. I bet they're celebrating in Egypt. They love their squash there. And this guy's got a lot of supporters. And, uh, although it's uh, a new king, let's not write off Amma Shabana. He'll be right back there snapping at his heels. He'll want his number one spot back. And that's a great shot from Kareem. Slots it short on the forehand side. 4-2. Yeah, just a little distraction there from the players. We've just got cameras falling onto the floor just in the back. The crowd is slightly biased. That's not a problem. Um, you see on the replay here, Darwin steps back into the line. It's a comfortable let for me. It's funny, we were chatting to the referees today about exactly that situation. and uh, <laughs> Obviously, they obviously the same said. amount went in. <laughs> <laughs> Quite frustrating, really, but there we go. You can only try, can't you? <laughs> Oh, that's oh, a lovely counter drop. Yep. And out. That was. He was onto that like a flash and a beautiful three, turn of the wrist there and great hands. Both players will be concentrating so hard, desperate to get this first game, get the first blood, give themselves just a little buffer. Oh, it's a lovely shot Down. from the So good on the forehand. Any time you get something three. to hit. Here we see, just lines it up, comes around the side of the ball and cuts it in short. Quality sharp to court. I think you put your bit. shoulder out. <laughs> it's a good turn. He was doing that yesterday against Rami, trying to change the angle, get oh. the front of the court, and it's worked beautifully for him. I think we'll be Five, seeing that shot coming out seven. quite a bit. And we see it sticks Kareem all the way to the back of the court and gives him the front too easily. For him, of course, quite an honour in any case to come here and referee at this level in such a prestigious event. Yeah, they've done a really good job this week, haven't they? All yeah. <clears throat> Easy to criticise them, I suppose, but they've put in a... Well, that stayed short. Will he, will he take it in again? As soon as... Oh, that's a lovely shot no, again. Not Didn't get under that one. I felt that yesterday... Six, seven, seven. He was attacking very well on that short forehand side. 6 7. Yeah, Rami kept hitting him across to the forehand. 
have to question it now. And we've seen it twice, so in fairness to the referees, they didn't get the benefit of hindsight that we've oh, had. that's a great that's shot. It. Yes, in tight. Hand out. Yeah, that Eight was all. what Rami kept trying to do to Matthew yesterday, was cut it across onto the forehand, but the cross court's got to be wide on here. Nick's really pushing up and cutting it in well, as he did yesterday. He's hit a couple of good ones already today. Eight all. Crucial point of this first game, and all an attacking boost there from Karim. He's not, he's not taking the bat foot, is he? He's eight on the first. Really still trying to take it to Matthew. Great width there on the backhand from Kareem. Matthew, as usual, really trying to push up and get that T position. Both players trying to control it from the front. Intensity's gone up, hasn't it? Yes, it has. Now he's in trouble. Oh, now he's a little bit of pressure coming in. Kareem's really applying himself here. Not letting anything go past, is he, if he can help it? We settle down into this back corner. God, that's a good length as well from Darwish. Great view from here. Fantastic. I mean, they're really keeping it tucked to this wall. Look at that. They're not finding any gaps from each other either. Good width again from Darwish. Great rally this. What's he going to do from the front? He really is a gutsy boy, Nick Matthew. <coughs> He's certainly asking some questions of Darwish here. Yeah. This is going to be an interesting match, I think. Doesn't go away easy, does it? Forcing Darwish to be a little bit more patient. Massive uh, rally here, Alex. First time, first chance he gets, he takes in that back forehand volley. And Nick's been in the middle more, I think, than Darwish in this rally. Ooh. Just needs a couple more opportunities, though, sometimes than Darwish. If Darwish gets one, he's going to go for it. Yep. Good turn of the ball there, getting Nick Matthew behind him on the backhand. Nothing much more dangerous than an Egyptian at the front of the court. Oh, good that was a drop. Great he was on drop. that late. And another drop. Pick up. Now he's struggling. Kareem having to work. Let me see it. He's got a good few balls back then. He's got himself back into it. This rally is really boiling now. This is the difference now with the Kareem Darwish. You know, this is why he's gone up there in the rankings. He's so much more gutsy. Out. But ah. Matthew wins the rally. That was a fantastic rally, and now it's going to be interesting. Left is that side, rally nine, going to prove decisive? What effect is it going to have now on Karim? Left. Yeah. I think that would have been huge if Nick hadn't pushed through oh, and lost that rally. He, if he'd have lost that one, he'd have been kicking himself because he was in charge of, you know, three quarters of the rally, wasn't he? And yes, indeed. I wish nearly got out of trouble, but not to quite. Come out of that end. with nothing would have been uh, hurting. Yeah, especially at this stage. This is going to be a good test to see how. Darwish's fitness is there. He's really attacking that forehand well. I think he, uh, after the match he played against Darwish in Qatar, we had Chris Robertson saying that he felt <laughs> that Nick should be attacking the attacking the forehand, and he is today. Yes, he is. That's good. That's, he's on that late again. Oh, well, really yeah. impressive there from Matthew. Not getting Ten flustered eight. with the pickups. Just he, takes it back in again. Game he's ball. been good all week, hasn't he? I mean, Alex, we talk about Kareem race in this game, but I have to say, maybe Nick has done this. Maybe the forced layoff has been good for him. Oh, oh well, that's a fantastic <laughs> shot. He's Full stop. Yeah, that was, that was pretty gutsy as well. That game out. ball down. Nine, Here we see, and he hit it onto the side wall as well, the serve, and he still managed to turn it round. Back in here to go to 9-10, and now he's game ball up. He's going to have to dig deep here. He really needs this first if he's going to stay in this match. It's going to be tough for him from down with someone this confident. Oh, there we see how quickly he whips down through the ball, Darwish. Not as tight as it should be. Nick pushes Darwish to the back of the court. If he continues like this, we have a big match ahead of us, shirt. He's taken that in well. Big opportunity. He's missed it. Oh, that's, that's a great, great shot. Great reaction. Now he's got all the court. Wow, yes. that was impressive. I didn't think Darwish was going to get Run anywhere out. near that reaction volley from Matthew, but seemed to just here we go. Oh, he went quickly at the end, didn't he? Fantastic. Eleven all.